everybody. How are you all doing? I'm absolutely fine here. And friends, today we're going to talk about that eventful night 30 years ago of 26 December 1991 and how that day has affected the policies of modern day Russia. All right, friends, so let's dive deeper into this topic. Let's go. Now, friends, 30 years ago, when the Soviet Union collapsed, Russia could not have been more different than the Soviet Union on the peak of its power. It had no infrastructure, no nothing. There was fertile soil, but no growth of wheat, nothing. All the artillery and tanks which had been brought from the Soviet Union presence in Eastern Germany were kept in these open fields. Why? Because the infrastructure was destroyed. It was humiliating for the Soviet Union, for Russia to see that day and now from the policies of the current president, Mr. Vladimir Putin, show that he wants to forget that night. He wants to show the world that Russia has now developed again. Russia is now much, much more powerful than the Soviet Union. He wants to show the world that Russia is now a power that needs to be counted, that needs to be feared. Imperialism is something which runs in the veins of modern Russia. Imperialism. You can see that from Kremlin. It's glorious when you stand there. You feel that there is still a lot of imperialism there. People believe in imperialism there. They think that Russia needs to be as great as the Soviet Union at the height of its power. It needs to be that great. One way of achieving that greatness is, of course, military power. For many years, Russia has been developing many, many new technologies and is trying to reach the level of competing with the United States. Yes, it is trying to reach that level. Now, Mr. Vladimir Putin wants to show his people that Russia now has a military which can take on mostly any, any country. He did that by launching an attack on the Crimean Peninsula. And you know what? Many people are really, really happy about it. They think that Crimea was always a part of Russia and therefore belongs to Russia. They think that the Ukrainians were actually trying to come in and set their ideology there. It was more of like a Hong Kong, right? It was only just that it was near Russia, <laughs> right? But the tensions were going on a lot, right? And now Crimea has been annexed by Russia. And the Crimean people are really, really happy about it. Now, one thing you might ask me is that, you know, if you know, Russia thinks that it can take on mostly any country, then why isn't it attacking other neighboring countries like Estonia, Latvia, Ukraine? You know, they are like dwarfs, like small dwarfs compared to the size of Russia, you know, compared to the size of Russia. They're like dwarfs. Now, friends, the reason is very, very obvious. It is obviously NATO. All these three countries, well, perhaps not Ukraine, I don't know if it is, you know, I just don't remember all the 29 countries which are involved in NATO, but maybe Ukraine is, maybe not. But yeah, it has a close relationship with Ukraine. And you see, NATO has stationed many, many of its troops in Estonia, Latvia, and even in the Ukraine, yes. And if, like, for example, if, uh, you know, Russia will attack Estonia, and Estonia is a part of NATO. So that means that all the countries which are under the alliance of NATO will declare war on Russia. 
and that is certainly not something which Russia can cope up with right now because NATO also includes the United States and then again it will fight a war on two fronts one in the Pacific and one on land you know one with all the other European nations so this is the thing that's why it is not attacking you know many many other small uh, countries you know but again you see there are other ways with which Mr. Vladimir Putin is actually trying to gain control, is actually trying to you know, increase the influence of Russia. Now friends, let us talk about fake news. Yes, fake news is one of the biggest weapons Mr. Vladimir Putin is using against the small countries. Fake news. And yes, let me tell you one of them. You know, it was that Mein Kampf, written by Adolf Hitler, is more famous than Harry Potter in Latvia. And that is completely, completely ridiculous if you, you know, go and check different, different things. You know, if you go and check different things and if you research about it a bit, you see that it was completely, completely ridiculous. This news was completely, completely ridiculous. Now, friends, a person asked that, why did they do it? You know, so there were two reasons. They gave two reasons. First of all, Harry Potter was actually, you know, clicked on 70%. Like, 70% clicked on Harry Potter. And then 71% clicked on Mein Kampf. But you see, the 71% which clicked on Mein Kampf were anonymous, Right? So that's why you can see that it was a fake news. Another reason was that it was in the market. You know, it was in the market and everything, you know. When they said that, but it is not the truth, you see. It is not the truth, so you must not say all this. Then you know what they said. Like, some of them said, actually, not all of them, but some of them actually said that, you see, all the truth does not go out. You know, all the truth actually does not go out. People talk about what is in the market, of course, and they are quite right on their part, you know. People will talk what is in the market, what they are being paid for writing. You know, they will write that. And that is exactly how fake news are spreading. These two were the biggest, biggest things by which Russia is trying to increase the influence. You see... These 30 years can be segregated into two parts. First of all, the part in which Russia was actually rebuilding itself, was rebuilding the infrastructure, you know, rebuilding the infrastructure and its military power rights. And after then, now it has started seeking for influence, you know, its old influence. And you know, Hungary right, actually supports, you know, Russia. <laughs> so actually Hungary, many people say that Hungary supports uh, Russia and they think that uh, the Hungarian Prime Minister wants to change it into a duplicate, into a copy of Kremlin. You know, he appreciates Russia a lot, right? And this is actually all the, and these are actually all the things that are going on, you know. Military and fake news are two of the things which Vladimir Putin is sticking a lot to. So, alright friends, that's it for today. Now, hope you enjoyed the video and now I'm going to see you next time. So, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and type the bell icon also. And now I'm going to see you next time. Bye.